There's not another 20 vanilla one in there, is there? No. Okay. All right, it's uh, 5,500 now. You can't be everywhere at once, but we can be anywhere you are. The Anywhere app by First National Bank. Putting you first, always. Clay County Connect, your local broadband. Connecting you to the most reliable, local, high-speed broadband and phone service in your area. To see if you're eligible for Clay County, for Clay County Connect, visit claycountyconnect.com or give us a call at 870-202-1990. We are your local broadband. Harvest more of what you grow with Case IH Axial Flow Combines. From header to spreader, Axial Flow's industry-leading innovations deliver cleaner grain from the field to the bend. Get the capacity you need with easy adjustment options to match your crop and field condition, all while minimizing potential grain loss. Add the automated efficiency of the optional AFS Harvest Command and take control of your harvest. Put your grain in the tank and your money in the bank with Axial Flow Combines. Available at Baker Implement with locations throughout Southeast Missouri and Northeast East Arkansas. Clay County Electric. We're the people behind every light switched on for the baby's 2 a.m. feeding, the computer you start up to begin your business day, and we're always there, down the line, powering farms and industries somewhere across northeast Arkansas. Clay County Electric delivers more than just electricity. We deliver power through our family of dedicated employees. Power generated reliably and safely for you and your family now and in the future. We are Clay County Electric. Power and people. Malone Custom Designs in Corning, Arkansas should be your first stop for everything personalized and customized. They offer laser engraving on several types of items, but they also offer banners, signage, business cards, stickers, trophies. Better? I'll, I'll just oh, go all the way. What if you do it in the center of the screen? We did it last night, we had to move it. Was it on, was it on top of each other like that too? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, let's give it up to a three-time sponsor now for the third consecutive year, Big Iron Auctions. Get a hold of Mr. Jason Horner for all of your farm retirement, estate, and equipment sales. They're at Big Iron. They're one of the industry's fastest-growing online auction companies, listing equipment in Clay, Greene County in Arkansas, and Butler and Ripley County in Missouri. Get a hold of them at 870-598-4310. Big thank you to Jason Horner, Big Iron Auctions. Coding Sports Report wants to give a big shout out and thank you to the Jet family. That's Lisa and Joe Jet and all the wonderful kids and grandkids there. They have been big, big supporters of not only the Corning Bobcats, but us here at CSR and even the city of Corning. They always have. We sure do appreciate the Jet family uh, for everything they do and for jumping on board with us here at CSR. The Jet family wishes to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. I need to make that first a little better, just leave it. You can slide it off that quarter. You know how anal Earls is. Bye. 
chair for me. Yes, sir. Good. Trailer and has been serving the Corning and surrounding areas since 2018. Lorelai is also the youngest Chamber of Commerce member. We love to see that and are proud to support the Corning Bobcats. Hey, contact them for all of your event needs. That's Lorelai's Ice out of Corning, Arkansas, 870-323-2202. Owner Sarah Ingle Garmath and Lorelai White. And you can also like them on Facebook. Again, Lorelai's Ice out of Corning, Arkansas. Go Bobcats. Dang it, I might got it. It's going to come down just a tad. Dude. For us and getting on board here with us at CSR. Hands-on learning therapy services, go Bobcats. Nutrient Ag Solutions, proud sponsor of CSR now for four straight years. I want to give a big shout out to Mr. James Varvel, who does so much in our community, works for Nutrient Ag and helps spearhead this uh, Nutrient Ag sponsorship every year. Nutrient Ag Solution offers a wide range of products and services to service clients in the agricultural sector. Learn more about how they can help at NutrientAgSolutions.com or find them on Facebook. They have several locations. You'll have a location in your area, I promise you, within a small driving range of your area. Find them online again at NutrientAgSolutions.com. Nutrient Ag Solutions wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Hey, some new faces on the CSR sponsor video this year, MCK. Cattle Company. Big thank you to Trent and Jessica McKinney out of Corning, Arkansas for jumping on board with us this year. I just want to mention that they have fresh ground beef available and we'll start taking orders on half and whole cows come January. Come this January. Get a hold of them at 870-323-3353. Again, that's MCK Cattle Company. Go Cats! Thank you to a good friend of mine, Mr. Brian Bass and B&B Well Drilling for continually supporting us here at CSR. B&B Well Drilling out of Peach Orchard, Arkansas. Get a hold of them at 870-215-3808 for all your well drilling needs. He's a big supporter of not only CSR, but of Corning Bobcat Athletics. I sure do appreciate you, Brian. Proud sponsor of CSR, Frit Industries out of Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. How about the plant manager there, Mr. Mark Hufford, does so much for us at CSR and for the city of Corning and Bobcat Athletics. I want to give a big shout out to him and all the help. Micronutrients, ProSoul, GreenSoul, that is Frit Industries. Get a hold of them at 870-886-2411. Again, Mark Hufford, thank you for all you do. Frit Industries, go Bobcats. I'd like to personally say thank you to Jerry, Rhonda, and Michael Salas at Salas Grain Bins and SNL Irrigation Incorporated. Right there in Corning, Arkansas, right off the main drag. They have been a four-year sponsor here with us at CSR, always supporting Corning Bobcat Athletics. And they do a lot of work there, obviously, in the city of Corning as well. Visit them at 908 North Missouri Avenue in Corning, Arkansas, or get a hold of them at 870-857-3086. Salas Grain Bins, SNL Irrigation. Go Bobcats. Carrie Russell and Qureshi of Qureshi Law Firm, a proud sponsor of Corning Sports Report and Corning Bobcats, helping families and small business owners protect their wealth and loved ones, minimize taxes, and create a lasting legacy. Qureshi Law Firm, 870-275-4304. Goodman Drug Company out of Corning, Arkansas. Miss Kathy Goodman has been very good to us here at CSR. Also, the city of Corning and Corning Bobcat Athletics. We want to thank her for that. Now, go see her. Show her some thanks at 1109 West Main Street. Not just a pharmacy. Got a lot of different stuff in there. A lot of Bobcat apparel, Razorback apparel, different things. You might be shocked. 
get inside that door there at Goodman Drug or call them at 870-857-0551. Goodman Drug, go Bobcats. Mike Benson, certified public accountant. As long as I can remember, my family both supported and participated in Bobcat sports. Whether it was football, basketball, baseball, tennis, golf, or cheerleading, we were there supporting family and friends. That tradition continues this year as our granddaughter represents the black and gold. Also, with another school year comes another opportunity for you to support these young men and ladies as they do their best in whatever sport they choose. Join me in letting them know how proud you are of them as they do their best. And for over 40 years, I've been assisting the good people of Corning and the surrounding area with all their tax and accounting needs. If you need us, come see us on 2nd Street in downtown Corning. Go Bobcats. Thank you, Jim Veneta, owner at Jim's Tire and Auto Service Incorporated, for jumping on board with us for the second straight year. Hey, you can find them off the main drag there at 500 West Elm in Corning, Arkansas, right across from Red Taylor Ford. 870-857-6266. They do a plethora of stuff. Alignments, new and used tires, all old brand service job, brake job, tractor, truck flats, batteries, road service, mufflers, wrecker service. In fact, the towing number is 870-857-6871. Hours are Monday through Friday, 7 to 6, and on Saturday, also open from 7 to noon. Again, thanks, Jim Veneta. And Jim's Tire and Auto Service wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Kate Pharmacy, our new sponsor here at Corning Sports Report, right here in 500 North Missouri in Corning, Arkansas. They are a pharmacy and boutique, diabetic and inhalation supplies, certified diabetic shoe fitting, bridal and baby registry, and they're now offering a loyalty program for added prescription savings. They do a little bit of everything there at Cape Pharmacy Incorporated. Get hold of them, 870-857-6766. Find them on Facebook. They also have a website, www.capepharmacy.com. Cape Pharmacy, go Cats. If you're looking for health care in the city of Corning, look no further First Choice Healthcare is your place to be. Four-year sponsor now of Corning Sports Report. We appreciate Miss Amanda Wiedemann and all the fine folks here at First Choice Healthcare. Hey, they'll take scheduled appointments. You can call at 870-857-3399. But also, walk-ins are welcome. And you can walk through those doors Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Convenient hours there. They've been very convenient for us. Very, very strong supporters of CSR, and we want to say thank you to First Choice Healthcare. First Choice Healthcare, located at 1300 Creason Road in Corning. Hours are 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, with extended hours on Saturday, 9 to 4. Phone number is 870-857-3399. We embrace patient-centered care and strive to provide the best possible medical care around. Refreshing to see yet another new fresh face on the CSR sponsor slide show, Mr. Eric Leonard and Leonard's Paintless Dent and Windshield Repair. They repair rock chips and windshields, headlight restoration, clear up foggy headlights, small dent repair. They service the Clay County area and all other counties within a 35 mile radius of Corning. They come to you and they also do insurance billing. Call Eric at 870-323-0141. Leonard's Paintless Dent and Windshield Repair. Go Bobcats. Give a shout out to our good friends, Michaela and Baxter Meeks. Sincerely appreciate them for jumping on board with us again here at CSR. Hey, over there at AmeriCare In-Home Service Agency, they're providing care and help to clients in the comfort of their own homes. Get a hold of them at 870-248-0555. You can also find them on Facebook. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. AmeriCare In-Home Service Agency. Another great Bobcat family here in the city of Corning, Arkansas, is the Wiedemanns. That's Jeremy, Amanda, Jaden, and Kylie. Hey, they've been sponsoring us here at CSR for four years now. We could not thank them enough for everything they've done for us. Always there at the ball games, always have a smile. That's the Wiedemanns. They want to say go Bobcats and wish Corning the best of luck on the upcoming season. Mike Townsend Farms, LLC. You call, we haul. 
Call 870-926-2119. A proud sponsor of Corning Sports Report and Corning Bobcats. Next up on the sponsor slide show, that is Parkview Restaurant, a Corning staple for many, many years. Miss Amy Jordan would like to welcome you to her establishment. Plate lunches, nightly specials, and deli. Proud supporters of the Corning Bobcats, you can go visit them at 1615 West Main Street there in Corning, Arkansas, or reach out to them at 870-857-6884. They want us to mention that they are rooting for number 64, Ethan Jordan. Go Cats! Parkview Restaurant in Corning, Arkansas, located at 1615 West Main, offers daily plate lunches, nightly specials, deli meats, and they still have takeout. Call 857-6884. They're open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Sunday, but closed on Saturday. Amy is a proud supporter of Corning Sports Report. Watson Oil Company of Corning, Arkansas, proud sponsors of Corning Sports Report, have been in business for 45 years, family owned and operated, located at 406 Southeast 1st. They want to say thank you to all the loyal customers. Watson Oil Company covers four states, Mississippi, Tennessee, Missouri, and Arkansas. Go Bobcats! Debbie Rose Massage, 413 Southwest 2nd Street, Corning, Arkansas, offers CBD products, laser light therapy, and of course, massage. Debbie's a proud sponsor of all of Corning Sports. Come see Debbie at Debbie Rose Massage. In loving memory of Jude White, if you're looking for a fighter, this young man right here was the definition of that. The battle with leukemia is now over. Little Jude is in a much better place and looking down on us as we speak. To the family, to the White family, we're with you. Michael, Jesse, we love you. And Jude will not be forgotten. He'll be on the sponsor uh, slideshow all year long. That beautiful smile and that fighter mentality right there. And I know Jesse and, and Michael hope the Bobcats take that same type of fighting mentality into the sports year this year in memory of this young man, Jude White. And now we land on Farm Bureau Insurance right out of Corning, Arkansas. Got to give a shout out to Mr. Cliff Gifford, Miss Angela Edwards, all the fine folks there at Farm Bureau, including Daniel Francis, who do so much for the city of Corning. They offer auto, home, farm, health, and life insurance. You can reach them at 870-857-6788, 2504 West Main Street in Corning, Arkansas. Proud supporters of CSR. They want to wish the Bobcats the best of luck. Let's all get it up for Miss Kimberly Scroggin and Scroggin and Associates there in Corning, Arkansas. Tax and bookkeeping services, 20 plus years of experience. Get a hold of her at the office and ask for Kimberly at 870-857-3765. Love the beautiful family picture there. And Kimberly and her family wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Coin Sports Report wants to give a big shout out to Larry and Mary Wiedemann of Wiedemann Farms there in Corning, Arkansas. Wiedemann Farms has been a proud sponsor of CSR now for four straight years. Two great people won't find any better and big time Bobcat fans. Supporters of Corning Bobcats and of Corning Sports Report, Wiedemann Farms, 561 County Road 131 in Corning, Arkansas. Hey, we're excited here at CSR to have our new sponsor, Miss Lynn Masterson, on with us in Electric Beach. Custom shirts for individual or bulk orders right there at Huddle Plaza in Corning, Arkansas. Miss Lynn has been very, very instrumental with all of our t-shirt sales that we've had at CSR. She does a great job in a timely manner, great customer service. You can find her on Facebook, Miss Lynn Masterson, and she wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Hey, let's say hi to a good friend of mine from the great class of 06 at Corning High School, Miss Lisa Bash. She's the owner-operator of the Oaks of NEA. 
And the Oaks of NA is a beautiful outdoor wedding and event venue with a new indoor location in downtown Corning, Arkansas. They do a little bit of everything. Get a hold of them at 870-631-2279. The address downtown, by the way, is 515 Southwest 2nd Street in Corning, Arkansas. Again, big thank you to my good friend, Miss Lisa Bass. Yet another loyal supporter of CSR, Mr. Zach Brown and Zach Brown Farms. Got to give some love to Shana as well. Congratulations to the newlyweds. Shana helping out a lot on the farm there. Zach wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck, and you'll probably hear Shana wishing them the best of luck as she helps us with our CSR live streams. Zach Brown Farms on the road to success. Zach, we appreciate your support for the four years that we've been here. Big shout out to Carter Cox Seeds out of little old Noble, Arkansas. These guys have been very big for us at CSR, three-year running sponsor now. Seed specials providing quality beyond customer expectation. Get a hold of them at 870-259-3231 or a convenient 1-800 toll-free 270-0340. That's 3162 Highway 90 there in Noble, Arkansas. Big thanks to Michael Smith. Carter Cox Seeds wants to wish the Bobcats the best of luck on the upcoming season. Hey, a big shout out is owed to Mr. John Selig and his company, Civil Engineering Associates. John is a big, big supporter of CSR now for four years, but also he does so much for our community there in Corning, Arkansas, and I want to give him a personal shout out for that. His company, Civil Engineering Associates, there's two locations, one in Jonesboro, one in Popper Bluff. The one in Jonesboro, you can reach at 870-972-5316. And Popper Bluff at 573-686-2488. Civil Engineering Associates, John Seeley, go Bobcats. Farm Service Incorporated Ag Technology Center. All right, guys, welcome everybody to the championship. Thursday night, 3A3 Conference Tournament Championship. You got the Manila Lady Lions coming in with a one seed. You got our Corning Lady Bobcats coming in with a three seed. They beat Osceola here Tuesday night to advance to the championship game. Jeremy, we're very keep capable of beating this team. Oh, it's been both of them have been close all oh, both games this year. We're gonna do it our national anthem.
Man, I hope you could hear that back home, guys. That was an outstanding performance of the National Anthem, sung by a ROTC student here, I believe, from Osceola High School. Uh, we're about to get to the uh, starting lineups for both teams. Um, as we said earlier, Manila won both games this year. Both games were close. They played each other about a week and a half ago at home. I think we played them closer at Manila than we, we did. did at home. We did. I think they beat us by six at Manila. Bart, you want to take well, who you want, and I'll take the other. It don't matter. You take Corning, I'll take Manila. Corning will be the visiting team on the scoreboard. Number two, senior Whitley Bolin. Number three, senior Katie Hampton. Number 11, Junior Kenley Watson. Number 31, Senior Madison Montana. Number 32, sophomore Emily C. League, head coach Jerry Sauger, assistant coach Annie Williams. Okay, folks, for your Manila Lions. Number 12, Madison Hitchcock. Number 22, Tyler Perkins. Number one, Jenna LaRose. Number, one, Jenna LaRose. Number 14, Madison Deeds. 14, Madison Deeds. And number, five, Chloe Helms. number five, Chloe Helms. Head coach is Chad LaRose and assistant coach is Sean Glenn. Boy, they got, they got some freshmen playing on this team that have contributed big time for the uh, Lions this year. I think Coach has both of his daughters on the team right now. One of them, I think, is a ninth grader. Jenna and uh, what's the other one? I only see one LaRose on there. All right, number 14, Madison D is going to jump it up along with number two, Whitley Bowling for the Bobcats. Let's get it on. Jeremy, if we can move the ball around like we did against Harrisburg the other night. Take some good shots. Yep. Keep turning over the ball. And and, and uh, shut down Hitchcock. Watson was a rebound him and Whit Bowling was a yes. rebound machine. Corning gets the tip. Here we go, folks. Championship game. Looks like Manila's gonna two three zone, Bart. You just want to say man to man. I was you? so bad. <laughs> Looks like Montana didn't get hurt too. Watson gonna pull the three. trigger. Boom, baby! Downtown! Just like I got that. the boys back! <laughs> Way to start a game from downtown from KK. Man, that's a heck of a way to start the game. So, so size-wise, with Martin out, good rebound good by Bowler. With Martin out, they've got advantage down low on the size, Bart. But um, we crashed the boards. Bowling, Watson, C-League crashed the boards. Oh, nice good. fake Just by Hampton. By Hampton. Nice up and oh, oh man, that hit every part yes, of the rim for it bounced out. That's a good step under she did right there too. That girl can shoot. Good Another hey, rebound by Bowling. Big one and done for Manella. If we can continue, that's what that. we need, man. When they get when Deeds gets the rebound and then they they get second and third opportunities, we will be in trouble. Bowling, Bowling for, three. for three, no good. Rebound Montana, jump her up, no good. Gonna Out of bounds on Manila, going to stay with Corning. Bart, that's, uh, we got an offensive rebound down here. Rebounding so far has been a plus. Hey, we're getting some good shots, half. too. We have. 6.37 to go first quarter. We're going to try our best to mention this time. I sometimes get wrapped up in the yeah, ball. Yeah, we got excited the other night and didn't mention it very much. Me. Not me, you. Both of us. <laughs> <laughs> we're a team. We talked before the game. You're supposed to be doing the clock. <laughs> okay. Good ball, but oh, the lob, they they take the lob away really well. They did it home against us, and they just did it again. Oh, that's KK. a layup. Yeah, yeah, good yes, sir, go to the free throw line. When we're making good passes, rebounding, and, and, and a lot of time for Corning, it's penetration. When we're penetrating, going to the hoop, we have success. What that does is open up that outside shot for us, that's too, right. Bart. And we got two or three right now on the forward to shoot. First one's up, no good. Unusual for her. 
She's normally a pretty good free throw shooter. Second one up. And that was good. Good. Four nothing corny. Six eleven to go. First period. Hey, that number good twenty two lit it up when we played yeah, it at home. She can shoot it up. Ty Taylor Perkins. That's where that, that girl out there. Foul. They got some really good shit. Look at the ball movement. Oh, it's a block. Nice block. Was that by Witt? Yes, I sir. Couldn't tell. Ten on the shot clock, better Jeremy. Better hurry up. Good feed. That was a real good feed right there. She might have she might have traveled right there, Bart. That's it. Oh, no good. good Corning ball. By the ball. Yes, cat. sir. Corning leads 4-0, folks. 534 left in the first quarter. I don't know if we could ask for a better start thus far, Bart. What would be nice, Jeremy, is to get a really good lead. A little bit of a cushion. Oh, boy, that, I don't know how that wasn't a foul. Is that, that was, Hitchcock? Hey, yeah. Yep. Yeah, she's a, she's a stud, Bart. She's the best player on the floor. Yeah. Well, her and Whitley. I'm not going to take anything away from Whitley. She's a good ball player. Right there is the hardest worker on the floor with the ball right now. Number Watson. 11. Hampton fakes. She, I love her. Uh, oh, come on now. I'll tell you what, man, that number 14, she's a pretty good-sized she, girl. Yeah, she's a freshman. Straight up. Look at Sealy play a defense. That was a double dribble. Let's watch that again. I don't think it was. No, nah, it wasn't. I like C League standing her yes. ground right there. Hey, she played good defense the other night, man. She did. That big girl in the middle of that zone, she was on her all night long. Right up. Get on the floor. Look at Montana. Good get on job, the floor. Montana. That's going to stay with Stale Manila. This is. That's okay. We get the next one. Any ball on the floor, I can promise you, them five and six girls that we play will get on the floor for it. There's another freshman, I think, coming in for them. That, that two, big, two big girls they played out were freshmen last, at home against us. I tell you what, nice the, step back. The other night against River said Rivercrest, Hitchcock scored any time oh, she wanted to. Oh, she got to. hacked, Bart. You know what? She scored any time she wanted to in the second half. Hey, she drove the basket, and when she did, they hooked that right yeah. over. Three guys out there that I never called it. That gives them a chance to tie it up, Bart. There's 432. That one's up and good. Good free throw shooting team. Yeah, 432. First period. First quarter. Uh, Katie Carr checks in for the Bobcats. Hey, That's she gave freshman. us some good minutes of the night. Second one up. Good. That ties the ball game at four, folks. 432 left in the first quarter. I just want to keep it close to, to the last minute or two. And I'm not taking anything away from the lines, but they do have some freshmen out there. Look at that. No! Oh! Oh! Threw it at her that knees. Was beautiful dish. But my thing is, you get a, you get some freshmen in under a minute, you never know. Just say I like that, but be in that spot where. Yeah, I agree. Championship game, freshman, you may have have some trouble. I don't know, but I want to be in that position. Man, they're coming they're up with all loose balls. balls. Yes, they are, Bart. I tell you what, this you cannot. One thing you'll never say about a Manila team is they don't hustle and oh. give you all. Hey, if they ain't hustling, they're not on the That's floor. That's right. Oh, nice. Look at Hitchcock. Wow. That, that was nasty. nasty. That was nasty. Wow. That was nasty. They they take the lead, Bart. 340 to go in the first. Has Whitley shot the ball yet? Nope. Madison for three. Boom, oh, baby. Downtown again. When 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 M Square is hitting threes, it's going to be it's going to be right. good. That's right. That's right. Carr going to play up top on the defense here, Bart. You got three seniors, a junior, and a sophomore in the field right now for uh, Man, freshmen. They're, they're going to have to contain. They're, they're going to have to contain Hitchcock. 21 and 14. Yeah, hell, Hitchcock. She's going to get her points, Bart. I'm oh, yeah. I'm hilarious to it. But I'm, oh, she traveled. Nice Shot little dish. Good. Manila takes the lead 8-7. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Watson pulls for three. She oh, fought her shot. Go, oh, baby! Another one for downtown. <laughs> Get the umbrellas out. 
That's Watson's second three. Of the night. We've had three threes, Bart, and a free throw. Heck, yeah, I like it. Corning takes lead 10-8. We're 2.35 to Hitchcock. go. Hitchcock. Boom! Wow. Downtown Hitchcock. We can't, hey, we can't get in this back-and-forth horse game with no. this crew. We had that against Piggott the other night when the boys played. Nella takes the lead 11 to 10. That's Good, girl. she drew another foul. She, hey, that's her patented move. Hers is drive and spin. Yep, that's three. That's two team no. fouls. And Katie Carr is good about driving in there, too, as well as Katie She'll Hatch. drive in there against anybody. I don't care how tall they are. Witt's got to get uh, Witt's got to get in involved here on offense, though. Five seconds. Carr. That's Carr steps through. Yes, sir. <laughs> Katie Carr, baby. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. She come on this team. Those girls have accepted her. Like oh, she's yeah. Been playing all year. I love that. They, they trust in her. What a pass. What a pass from Hitchcock. My Lord. What can Hitchcock not do? Man. I ain't seen anything she can't do Jeez. yet. KK Watch it from for downtown. Three again. No good. Hey, that's okay, man. Yeah. That's a wide open shot. Manella's going to push it up the court, Bart. We're at 145 to go in the first period, first quarter. That's where they're hurting. It's that, that high-low game, high-low game. That brings the lead up 15-12 with 137 left in the first. We've got to have somebody to, to uh, guard the big Whitley is quiet, right man. She's, she's going to do something. She's averaging 30 in her last Oh, nice games. pass. Watson Boom, yes, sir. Kenley Watson is on fire. Feed the beast, baby. That's eight for her. We're 15-14 uh, now, Manila with Corning the down by one. We're 110 to go first quarter. Hitchcock finally oh, missed a shot. Oh, that's unusual for her. Corning now, 105 to go. Got a chance to regain the lead right here. Nice dish. Boom, nice yes, dish. sir. Katie Corning Hampton. takes the lead again. 16 feet. Hey, he's going to both teams came to play. They came to play, Bart. Well, hey, it's a number one seed for the regional right, right here on the line. You, I'd rather, much rather play a four seed, be a one seed, and play a four. Me two, too. Three, with Me the, too. The teams we're going to play But I regional. think that four seed from that side is going to be pretty good. Oh, good. They called it on the floor. Look. Folks, 33.9 seconds left in the first quarter. Corning hey, leads by one. By all means, that girl was shooting the ball right there. There's no way I that's thought she on was. the floor. All right, Manello's ball, 33.9 to go. Their ball on the end of, the, end of their court. One Downtown. The trigger. Good. That's Jenna LaRose for three. Puts Manella up by two. That's coach's daughter. Bobcats to come down the court. Could hold it for the last shot here, Bart. I thought Hampton was fixing to pull one. That's a charge. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, good up. call. Good call by the official. Yeah, she was said that she went to the well one too many times. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess who uh, who took the charge. Probably Hitchcock. Yeah, Hitchcock. <laughs> 16, 18, 16 Manella with 12 seconds to go here. They're gonna walk. Hitchcock's gonna walk it up. I'd say she's probably gonna take the last shot here, Bart. No. Oh, nice. Two. Nice one. hands by Hampton. That's a, a buzz. Yes, sir. Good, good job. Good defense, guys. I don't think either coach could ask for a better first period. No, absolutely not. Back and forth, three pointers. Uh, Hitchcock, Hitchcock for the Lions and Watson. Well, I think Watson's got eight or ten for the Bobcats. Uh, Hitchcock dishing. Everything. I mean, what a great first quarter! Great absolutely, first quarter. both teams. Not very many turnovers either, Jeremy. No, no, they haven't. Both teams are. Or getting the offense set up and executing offense. A lot, a lot of points have come on dribble penetration, dishes, or kicking it out for threes. Uh, Hampton, Hampton's been carving it up on this end. Hitchcock has made some outstanding passes on the other. Let me end read before. some of these. I always forget about this man. We got a bunch, bunch, bunch. John Jett watching Andy Earls, Bart White and Jeremy Woods on the headsets. Blake Calhoun watching Pat Morrow. Patty and Jerry Shear watching from Life. Lynn Veneta, Sharon Rudd. Drew Redlick, Don Burkhart, Cody Hudson, Madison to Hill, Matt Allen, Freed Irvin, Paige Cat, Kenzie Blanchard, Katie Ford, Keegan Daniels, Reagan Grooms, Dylan Woolard, Mike Vincent, 
Carlina Scobie, Vince Young. Thanks for streaming. Yes, sir, Vince. Amber Hollis, Virginia, and John Harvey. All right, All we'll right, need folks. some more later. Here we go. Start of the second quarter. Bobcats with the ball. Calhoun said the only thing he's cocked can't do that he's seen is dunk. Kick out the wit. She's going to drive. There you go. Little jumper's going to be no short. Good. She finally hey, she got did a score shot. Ago. She did? Yeah. Oh, a layup, wasn't yep. it? There we go. Good D. Good, good job, girl. Hey, I like that D right there. We had two guys, two girls step back to help out on her. I don't, well, Hitchcock's I don't think sticking they know with ball as we're going in, Bart. I don't think they do either. Well, if 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 Wit will move, fade away. No good. If Wit can move and she sticks with us, she tire her out. I, only thing I can hope for the way yeah. Hitchcock plays. Look at that. Nice, nice block, block by, by Whit. Whitley. Yes, wow. sir. Hey, just think if you had them both those girls on the same team. Oh, man. Hitchcock and Woo. Bob. Go ahead and bring Manor in from Piggott. <laughs> oh, yeah, the <laughs> rebounding machine. Yeah. Number five is going to check in for the Manila Lions for number 22. Perkins is going to take a break. Perkins has been five. Quite, kind of quiet tonight. Chloe Helms checks in for the Lions. Yeah, but she can get hot just like that. Yes, she can. We saw that at Corning. Good nice. Speed. Hey, <sighs> she's going to have to turn the right side there. When yes. she turns in, the double team is right, right there. She's got to turn the opposite right Good there. Good pass by Carr. Yeah, it was. We're still 18-16 with 6.30 to go here, second period, from the Palace in Osceola, <laughs> Arkansas. Oh, she's open, Bart. Oh, the bank is open, baby. I, I don't think she called that. I don't think she did either. But, hey, it's three points. That gives her the largest lead of the night, Bart, 21-16. 6-10 left to go in the second quarter. Downtown Hampton. Boom! Oh! Baby! From downtown! It's raining threes at Osceola, Jeremy. 21-19. <laughs> Five fifty to go. Looks like Perkins is ready. She Look travel. That. that had to be a travel. I don't know how many steps she got. I know it's Coach not Saunders three. Coach Saunders telling the ref three. I, th I think it. What's it for three? Oh, Look at the rebound good job by Hampton. Hampton. No foul. Littlest girl on the court. We got the board. LaRose takes it in. Hey, that was a good job by Watson right yeah, there. Yeah, it was. Setting up. 23-19, Manila leads with 5.15 to go, second period. Carr oh, pulls that, it for three. That's too much. Oh. Did I hit the backboard? Yeah, I think so. All right, four-point lead, and they press it up the court. Mark. She's going to pull shoot the three. It. No good. Let it go. It's ours. No way. All right, Perkins is going to check back in for the line. 23-19 Manila, 4.59 left in the second quarter. LaRose is going to take a breather. Right now they got number 25 on the court, boy. I didn't mention her, Kinley Shelton. Her sister. And there's her sister was a baller, man. All right, girls, you got to get the loose ball. She's Shelton going to pull downtown. it. downtown, good. Hey, she can shoot. That's that's the largest lead of the game, 26-19 Lions. Hey, they got they got two offensive rebounds on this trip down the court. Madison for three. Oh man, it rimmed out. That would have been big right there. Everybody took off running when she shot was up instead of trying to rebound. Good, good job, by Watson. Watson's playing. Man, that's she's good. playing good defense. She gets underneath. Straight them right up. There. Straight up. 21 Cone getting ready to check hey, back Big in e, for the Big E needs to watch her do that. <laughs> Give it to her. Watson's Watson going to pull it off. Look at her rebound. Look at her, get her own rebound. rebound. Good job, Montana. What a rebound. Call for, for three. three. No good. We have no rebound. Nobody was in that block right there just now. That girl just swung her arm at KK. Charge. Whoa. Yes, sir. Woo! Yes, sir! Katie Carr took the charge, baby! 
I'm going to tell you what stood out that last possession we had the ball. We took two shots, and both times nobody was in that square to rebound. Madison getting a breather. She busted her butt, man. She All right. Who do we have come in? We got a, a Selena Panky. Panky. Selena Panky. For the Lions, they had two check in. Uh, 21 checks back in. Uh, Cone. That's the first foul they've called down there yeah. on the baseline. Cone checked in, and I don't, I didn't see the second one. So right now on the court for the Lions, you got uh, Chloe yeah. Hams, Taylor Perkins, Madison Hitchcock. 26-20, folks. 336 left in the second quarter. And I can't tell who's down low right there. Number five. Second one up, no good. Cuts to lead the six. 334 to go, second quarter. They're going. To, they're looking. To, they're looking down low first. Bart dishing down low and kicking out to the shooter. They got seven. They got, they got seven. Good block. block. And she turned her head as soon as the shot was put up. No good. Look at Carr, Bart. Look good at Carr. Good job. Man, she's giving us some. Take minutes. it to the rack, baby. Oh. Good. Wow. Well, I'm going to tell you what happened. She set it right out there for her to grab. Yep. Need to cup it like them boys was doing the other night. 3.06 to go. 26-20, Manila leads. Manila with five team fouls. Corning with four. Possession arrow back to the Bobcats. Grab it. Good job. Good job. All right, KK's going to bring it up and set it up for the Bobcats. Over to, over to Hampton. We're spreading everything out here, Bart. Nope, it's not there. Move it. The other night we were moving it so fast we that we couldn't even keep up with it. Swing it. Nope. Ah! She had good intention. Just that was great, D. She walked. Oh! She walked twice. I thought she got away with it, but that's all right. They're closer than we are, but they're still a walk. Nice Good job. Walk. That was hard. That was <laughs> 2 5 to go. 26-20. Timeout, Corning. Timeout by the Bobcats. 30-second timeout by Coach Jerry Songer. So far, Jeremy, this game has not disappointed. No. This place is packed, too, fellas. Which they got their – they get Manila boys are playing next, too. So, I figure all the parents from both teams are here. Well, we're about to see a good, another good, good game coming up next. <laughs> Folks, we got me and Jeremy Woods on the headset tonight. Pat Bannerman made the trip over to run the camera. Appreciate you coming to help us, Pat. Old Pat usually comes through when we ask him. All right, working. Bobcats ball. Two minutes to go here. It's not there. Good skip. You got to get something on that skip pass. Watson for three. Short. Save that. You got to go after the ball. Why do they do that? I don't know. It, they've done it all They're year afraid long. it's going to hurt them if they grab it? They'll get there and just not even Just look at it. Like dive out and grab it and throw now, it off yeah. their shin. I don't understand do something. that. We saw it more in junior high Some games. Some effort's better than no effort. We saw the senior high boys game the other night. Oh, nice kick out to LaRose. No good. Over the back. Yes, Thank good you. job. That's going to be team foul number six on them, I believe. It Jeremy. is. You're right. One more will be in the bonus for the rest of the quarter, which is only a minute 36 left. 136 to go here at the Palace, home of the Osceola Seminoles. <laughs> feel like I'm in Las Vegas. That's what they the call palace. this place, the palace. Bobcats ball. We got 20 on the shot clock. There you go. Man, she. Look at Carr. Good the job, rebound. Katie Carr. Jeez. Going to the line for two. <laughs> and we are in the bonus now. Hey, I don't want to say nothing, but this girl can shoot lights out for the free throw line. You just jinxed her. No, she's, she's a 90% free throw shooter. Boom. Carr. At least. I would say she's 85, 90% free throw. Whitley's averaging like 28 points a game the 30. last three games. 30. 30. Last three games. Yep. 
She's not doing too hot tonight, man. She's going to have to get in there and stroke some balls. Four point ball game. 26-22. Well, I mean, it's not like she's not. They're playing. They're trying. Yeah, to they stop got her. one of the best defenders yeah. on her. Yeah, they're just. I hey, mean, these other girls have stepped up, though, man. Going in a little motion here, Bart. Fix say, don't leave her open. She'll her either. Little behind the back dribble. LaRose in the corner, over to Hitchcock. Cut the baseline off. Good job. Good job by Panky. All right, Bart, 47.1 to go on the clock. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Hopefully they're not aware of it. We can get a are. rebound here. Oh, they're aware. That coach over here didn't. Shelton leave. from downtown. Good. That girl can shoot lights out. Every time she's got it on the corner, we fail to get out to her. Do they not know that she can shoot the ball? I mean, she's hit two for two for the three-point line. That puts it back up to seven for the Lions. Uh, Five-second differential. Panky shoots the three. That ain't the shot we want. No. What a she, – she traveled. She traveled. Yes, yes sir. sir. Good defense by Carr. Carr caused that travel. Yeah, that's not – we got to have a better shot down here. All right, Bar, we can hold it for the last shot. 17.6 to go. Second period. Why is Selig out? I don't know. She come she out played, when Carr she, went she in. She played some good defense, man. Seven-point lead for the Lions. Watson, Watson from downtown, no Short, good. short, short. Look at her. She'll run all the way after her shot from three-point line. See, that gives them plenty of time to get a shot off now. Taking the game to the end What we don't want to do her. right now is foul. We do not want to foul. Well, we got two to give. Just don't foul on the shot. Right. LaRose for three. No good. No good. No basket, folks. That was a foul. That's going to end the half. That was a foul on Perkins. 22. Seven-point lead for the Lions. Uh, Manila has not slowed down on their shooting. We've slowed down a little bit. Hey, we're going to stay here just for a couple minutes. I need to read some of these. Because, man, we've got a lot of people watching. I think I finished it. Maggie Kaus, Judy Woodard, Chris Campbell watching from the Sunshine Gymnastics Academy at Conway. Uh, Deborah Boatman says go Lions. Tanya Lunsford, let's go Corning. Mark Leonard watching. Jim Davis, Madison Nicole Hill. I like threes as much as the next, but let's take it to the hoop girls. For shooting threes, we got a rebound. You're exactly right. Gayla Seacrest, Don Burkhart, Calvin Burkhart, Jeremy Weaver. All right, folks, we're going to take it to the ad video. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. can't be everywhere at once, but we can be anywhere you are. The Anywhere app by First National Bank. Putting you first, always. Clay County Connect, your local broadband. Connecting you to the most reliable, local, high-speed broadband and phone service in your area. To see if you are eligible for Clay County Connect, visit claycountyconnect.com or give us a call at 870 870- Two zero two one nine nine zero. We are your local broadband. Harvest more of what you grow with Case IH Axial Flow Combines. From header to spreader, Axial Flow's industry-leading innovations deliver cleaner grain from the field to the bend. Get the capacity you need with easy adjustment options to match your crop and field condition, all while minimizing potential grain loss. Add the automated efficiency of the optional AFS Harvest Command and take control of your harvest. Put your grain in the tank and your money in the bank with Axial Flow Combines. Available at Baker Implement with locations throughout southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas. Clay County Electric. We're the people behind every light switched on for the baby's 2 a.m. feeding, the computer you start up to begin your business day, and we're always there, down the line, powering farms and industries somewhere across northeast Arkansas. Clay County Electric delivers more than just electricity. We deliver power through our family of dedicated employees. Power generated reliably and safely for you and your family now and in the future. We are Clay County Electric. 
power and people. Malone Custom Designs in Corning, Arkansas should be your first stop for everything personalized and customized. They offer laser engraving on several types of items, but they also offer banners, signage, business cards, stickers, trophies, awards, caps, photography services, and more. Jay and Stephanie Malone would love for you to stop in their store at 310 North Missouri Avenue. be everywhere at once, but we can be anywhere you are. The Anywhere app by First National Bank. Putting you first, always. Clay County Connect, your local broadband. Connecting you to the most reliable, local, high-speed broadband and phone service in your area. To see if you are eligible for Clay County Connect, visit ClayCountyConnect.com or give us a call at 870-202-1990. We are your local broadband. Harvest more of what you grow with Case IH Axial Flow Combines. From header to spreader, Axial Flow's industry-leading innovations deliver cleaner grain from the field to the bend. Get the capacity you need with easy adjustment options to match your crop and field condition, all while minimizing potential grain loss. Add the automated efficiency of the optional AFS Harvest Command and take control of your harvest. Put your grain in the tank and your money in the bank with Axial Flow Combines. Available at Baker Implement with locations throughout southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas. Clay County Electric. We're the people behind every light switched on for the baby's 2 a.m. feeding, the computer you start up to begin your business day, and we're always there, down the line, powering farms and industries somewhere across northeast Arkansas. Clay County Electric delivers more than just electricity. We deliver power through our family of dedicated employees. Power generated reliably and safely for you and your family now and in the future. We are Clay County Electric. Power and people. Malone Custom Designs in Corning, Arkansas should be your first stop for everything personalized and customized. They offer laser engraving on several types of items, but they also offer banners, signage, business cards, stickers, trophies, awards, caps, photography services, and can't be everywhere at once, but we can be anywhere you are. The Anywhere app by First National Bank. Putting you first, always. Clay County Connect, your local broadband. Connecting you to the most reliable, local, high-speed broadband and phone service in your area. To see if you are eligible for Clay County Connect, visit ClayCountyConnect.com or give us a call at 870-202-1990. We are your local broadband. Harvest more of what you grow with Case IH Axial Flow Combines. From header to spreader, Axial Flow's industry-leading innovations deliver cleaner grain from the field to the bend. Get the capacity you need with easy adjustment options to match your crop and field condition, all while minimizing potential grain loss. Add the automated efficiency of the optional AFS Harvest Command and take control of your harvest. Put your grain in the tank and your money in the bank with Axial Flow Combines. Available at Baker Implement with locations throughout southeast Missouri and northeast East Arkansas. Clay County Electric. We're the people behind every light switched on for the baby's 2 a.m. feeding, the computer you start up to begin your business day, and we're always there, down the line, powering farms and industries somewhere across northeast Arkansas. Clay County Electric delivers more than just electricity. We deliver power through our family of dedicated employees. Power generated reliably and safely for you and your family now and in the future. We are Clay County Electric. Power and people.
Malone Custom Designs in Corning, Arkansas should be your first stop for everything personalized and customized. They offer laser engraving on several types of items, but they also offer banners, signage, business cards, stickers, trophies, awards, caps, photography services, and more. Jay and Stephanie Malone would love for you to stop in their store at 310 North Missouri Avenue and check out their selections. Whether you are looking for custom marketing items or a gift for that special someone, give Malone Custom Designs the chance to make your day. Hey, let's give it up to a three-time sponsor now for the third consecutive year, Big Iron Auctions. Get a hold of Mr. Jason Horner for all of your farm retirement, estate, and equipment sales. They're at Big Iron. They're one of the industry's fastest-growing online auction companies, listing equipment in Clay, Greene County in Arkansas, and Butler and Ripley County in Missouri. Get a hold of them at 870-598-4310. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, got about one minute and 44 seconds before the second half starts. Jeremy, what do you think about the first half so far? That both teams come out slinging the ball, playing game of horse, and it was shot for shot. We got a little cold midway through the second quarter, and and we were one and done on the on our offensive end. We, that's we had how they nobody started. had nobody down there rebounding. Uh, that's where they gained the, the little lead yep, they do they have, sure a couple did. threes, and it's because just lack of. Lack of being bad down. They do have us outnumbered down low. We've got. Oh, we've absolutely. Got, they got a couple big girls that are stout. We got Martin strong. that could usually match up with one of them, but she's out uh, at home. Yeah, recovery. Presley, if you're listening at home, we hope you got a speedy recovery. Wish you were here helping this Bobcat team play right now. And, and it's not that we're not d up. They just got the size advantage of us. They're, they're looking to dump down. Um, and yeah, and they the got last, about four kids that can, dri- yeah. that can fill it up. The last. The last quarter or the second quarter, some of the first, they started going from post to outside, opening the shots up. They got a, got them a lot of layups down there. But we've had we've had some one and duns down there, and that's the difference. Looks like it's going to be Corning's ball to start the uh, second half. Let's start this game like we started the first half. We're 16 minutes away from crowning the uh, district tournament champion tonight, and who gets the one seat going to Mountain View next? Uh, Winner will play next Wednesday. Loser will play, play next Thursday. Thursday. Hampton starts out. I thought she was. Ball is three. Block. Oh, they called a foul. Oh, had to be down. He called that. Wow. Oh, he did get on the arm right there. Yep, that was a foul. That's a three shots. Oh, come on, Whitley. We got to utilize this. Three three shots, no time running off the clock right now. Second one up, good. Third one up, good. good. Cuts the lead to five, Bart. Seven forty-seven to go. Manella's yeah, gonna I take the first. Not initially trip. didn't think she I didn't fouled think her. so either. They're going to bring it for, for their first offensive trip down the court in the second half. That's what I like about running the iPad while we're doing this. I can rewind. Rose from do. downtown. Block out by Bowling. She Good gets job. the rebound. We need a couple of those right here to get back in the ball game, Bart. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Seeley gets up. Good hustle by it's gonna both go teams. Back to Osce- uh, Osceola. It's going to go back to Manella. 29-24, Manila leads. They've been playing with Watson long enough. They know when she drives, she's going to spin. you got to be set up ready to take the ball and, and pull the trigger right there. We're going to have to work on her with an Allen Iverson crossover in the offseason. I don't know. That, that spin move she's got, LaRose is open. That spin move she's got. Pretty- yeah, it's good, but she could add something else to her arsenal. There we go. The first two trips down the court. Corning has been one and done on a, on the uh, board, and that's good. 
So Bobcats are going to set it up here over to Madison, Montana. Witt. Good job. Woo. That's close to a turnover. Yeah, I don't know. She, Swing you it. you got to know what you're going to do right there before you get amongst those trees, Bart. Ten, Ten on the on shot clock. we got to go with it. Go with it. Four. Shoot that. That's good. Oh! 22 footer, baby! <laughs> Woohoo! From way downtown. Hey, well, they cut the lead to two. 6 14 left in the third quarter. You work your tail off on defense down here for 34 seconds. Son, that somebody, was deep. Somebody shoots a three that deep on you. That was from the Indian nose. Yeah, that was out there. I'll tell you what, if we can keep this up, man. Just got to keep them from getting the, some the easy shots. The ball movement by Mandela is just – LaRoe's pulling Wide the three. Open. See, man, you she can't can leave them – shoot. You can't leave them open. Is she – wonder what grade she's in. She can light it up. They know, they know the girls can shoot, man. They got to yeah. get out in their face. She's got a fake right there and to make them leave their feet. Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Nice wow. bucket. Man. She got a beautiful shot. Lead back up to seven. We had cut it to two. Five twelve to go here. Third period, Bart. You remember we don't need to get down by ten or more. No, you gotta keep it right here within two 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 possession ball game, two to three possessions. You let these girls get out in double digit lead, uh, they can run away with it. Just because now go with it. Good drive by Watson. Got her Good own rebound, job. Bart. Yes, sir. She is she's she's balling tonight. She's balling tonight. She is balling tonight. Four thirty seven to go. Five point ball game line. Do not leave her open. You can't leave any of these girls open out here. I mean, they brought Shelton in the second quarter, and she hits two threes. Well, they got four in there right now. The they floor. can fill it up. 36-29, 4.20 left in the third quarter. LaRose has been hot tonight, too. LaRose is a sophomore. Sophomore. Well, that's great. We get to face her two more Montana years. for three, no good. Come on, you got to get in front of her and block her out. You're not going to get a rebound over nope. that girl. There ain't no way. Nope. 21 coming in for Manila. Four oh nine to go. Seven point lead by the Lions. We got to get a more aggressive on defense. We got to stop. We got to have some stops down here. LaRose. Wide open. We're lucky she missed we that. Got, yeah, we're, I, mean, I think she's missed two all night. I mean, she's just been lighting it up. We've had success with Watson attacks the basket. Give it to her. Good pass. Oh, man. You got to use glass on that. She usually, she'll use glass from six, eight foot out. Hey, this girl's been quiet now, but she can feel it Look up. at that. Look at that hustle. Good both hustle teams. by both teams. I love seeing that. 21 on the shot clock. 3.20 to go, third period. Seven-point advantage by the Lions. They, I should say that pick and roll is what they killed us with over there. That should not get down there. That's our ball. Yes, hey, we're going to have to go on a run. They, they killed us with the little pick and roll up top, Mark. I mean, we've got some stops down here. We're just not scoring down on this end. Watson's getting these to attack. Watson and Whitley need to attack. Two fifty-five to go. Oh, she should have shot that. And she waited too Nobody long. Nobody got the ball. Somebody. Oh man. Nobody tried to get the ball. No, they morning. just stood there. They stood there. That's like what. That's what. That's what. Get Good steal Good job by, by Watson. Watson. That's, that's, oh, look at that no, hustle, You ain't getting it from her, buddy. Look at that hustle. Hey, she, what she just did. Look, she's pushing to. What she just did, she freed saved, up she us to get the, the ball. Yeah, right. exactly. What a dish. Hitchcock's going to be rewarded. That looked like James Harden stepping back with 16 steps. 
What she did was save the possession by Yes, Young. exactly. She got rough, did she? I think she knew that, too. <laughs> we got a timeout, Manila. We got 2.15 to go, third quarter, Bart. We just have not got in rhythm on offense since the first quarter I know, quarter man. And a we half. started off really, really hot. Midway through the second quarter and all this whole quarter, we've just not been in rhythm. We're going to have to go on a run. Witt's got to get more involved here. I mean, this is for all the marbles right here. It's got to get involved and get on get on the uh, – Yeah, we're going to regionals no matter what, so we need to concentrate on winning this championship. Yeah, I, no, I mean, I, just because you're going doesn't mean – That's yeah. exactly right. I want, I want the big trophy Me here. too. Me too. I want them to play We're the Champions if we win. <laughs> That's what they do at the state tournament. Every, every, every All right, game. Hampton comes down with 2.13 to go on the clock, third period. She's wall open. you got to feed her. Now go to the middle. Somebody's open. Selig from downtown, no good. Ball out. Get Grab that, get it. that. There you go. Good right, hustle. Set it back up. Shot clock restart. Set it back up. You ain't got to force anything. We I like around. that shot. Get in there. Oh, hole. man, she just can't get nothing to fall. That's a smooth move, too. That was a dude. good shot. She turned middle this time instead of into the double team right there. Oh, Bart. Do you see Hampton? Jump ball. They call Yes, that's sir. Our, that's our ball. How's that a Holy jump ball? Holy cow. How's that a jump that ball? Like a WWF <laughs> headlock or That something. was a headlock from all day. Corning gets the ball. Possession arrow goes back to the Manila Lions. 1.32 to go. Bart, we've went, both teams have been on the scoring drought right here for the last couple minutes, it seems like. Yeah, we need to break that right now. She needs to go baseline right now. Go baseline. There Good you row. Go. She can't get it to fall, she Bart. She cannot hit nothing, man. Sometimes it's that That's way. That's the difference in this game, too, right yeah, now. It I is. promise you. Wheatley been on like she has the last three games. We'd be up by 10. All right, we got 102 to go. Seven point lead by the Lions. Running Hitchcock on the baseline. Shelton can shoot. You yes, she get can. Out there. So can she. Air ball. Eight on the shot clock. It did not Shelton, reset. Wide open. No good. Good job. That's right, Montana Bob. with the rebound. 40 on the game clock, 30 on the sh uh, shot clock. We got to have – we haven't scored in several minutes, Bart. Montana. Nope. No good. That's this one and done. That's what's cost this right here. One and done. Yeah, we're barely getting down the floor too. Outside. Wow. Leave her open. Takes it to 10. Was that Helms? Montana for another one. Boo, baby, downtown. Who she was, totally redeemed herself. Who shot the three for them? I forgot. Um, them. Was it five? I think it was five. Hams, Chloe Hams. 39-32. Manila leads after three. Bart, I think we were six point. No, it was seven at halftime. Seven in the third quarter. That was a really low scoring third yeah, it quarter. Was. Both teams never. Um. But for Corning, second shot opportunities is not there right now. We're nope. one and done down the court. It's like one uh, ago, somebody shot that air ball, and there was nobody down there. They all took off the other I'd like to floor. see Carr get back in the ball game. Me too. Just, just, just the way we play when she's in there a little bit. Uh, Carr back in there to give us a spark. She's a scoring spark for us too. And she's a, a hustler and scrapper. When the ball's on the ground, she's going to get down there too. We, somebody's got to give us a spark I'll tell you what, right that here. first game the other night she got to play, you could tell she was nervous. She wasn't nervous against those No, players. she wasn't nervous. She had some good passes. She was not nervous. She had some, nine points. We got to get a spark right here. Three or four assists and about four rebounds. That's pretty good for a freshman stepping in. Uh oh. Got, we got somebody fixing to leave the gymnasium, looks like. Wonder who it is. Well, I know two people that it ain't. Nope. I'm going to stick around for the whole ball game and the second one tonight. All right, we got to have a spark right here, Bart. Possession arrow goes to Osceola. 
team fouls. Neither team is in fouls. I mean, we got one team foul apiece on, on so we have to do a lot of fouling to get in the bonus. Right. So teams can play pretty aggressive right here, boys. Hopefully they'll be the ones that put us in the bonus before we do them. You can play a really aggressive with only one team foul entering the fourth quarter. Because <laughs> they're a good free throw shooting team. Perkins. Perkins downtown. Good. Oh, my goodness. Brings the lead back to 10. Yep. We can't have too many of those, Bart. All right, hand, oh, the lob was there. Good, Good job. Good job, Witt. Feed it back out. That was a great pass by Hampton. Yes, it was. Shot clock did not restart. Oh, look at that drive, Bart. Yes, with the left hand. I love, she always goes left right there. I see boys that go left and play it upright. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We've got to have some stops. We cannot trade threes for two, three for two for threes either, Bart. No, that you'll never catch up nope. to that. Eight point advantage with six fifty five to go. Hitchcock, Hitchcock pulls it. No good. Good board Rebound by Hampton. Hampton. Good job, Hampton. We've had several opportunities the second half, Bart, to take the lead in this ball game or to cut it. Come Baseline on. is open. Wit. Yes, sir. Wick gets Probably it got in. One of, maybe she'll catch fire right here, Jeremy. Hey, I don't care if she waits to the fourth quarter I to don't catch either. fire. Let's just do it. That's right. Win's Ta takes win. it down to six, Bart. 42-36 for the Lions. 6-22 to go. Hey, all I can say is thank God. is wide open, and she goes in and out. All I can say is thank God for the shot clock. Oh, I don't think Manila would be a team to set and hold it. They like to shoot. Hampton drop. Oh! Get, get back, KK. Don't let her have that. Man, how you call a foul on Yeah, her? exactly. She's running with them. That's anticipation right there. You're calling the foul before anything ever happens. She never even touched her. That's, I don't like that. All right, 14's checking in. That's Madison Deeds. Oh, they didn't call it on the No, shot. it was on the floor. Who'd That's she good check for in us. for? She checked in for Chloe Hams. Bart. Nice bucket. Her footwork right there was just. Very good. Just went to town on. You remember Buda Harris, from the, fresh, the freshman from Riverside, Rivercrest, the lefty? I don't remember him. He played a heck of a ball game. Now he got good footwork. That's a foul. Yes, sir. Hey, we got to go. We got to get to the hole like that. Last couple trips, Hampton's uh, driving. She made a great pass to a uh, Watson down there. 542, folks, left in the last quarter. If we get it down, we got to pump fake and get these yes. tall girls off their feet. Yeah, that's the only way you're going to get a shot yeah, off on them. They, I mean, they're standing straight up. But if you fake, oh, look at that crossover. <laughs> Another, Another foul. Another foul. Yes, sir. Let's keep racking them up. Put us in the bonus. Three team fouls for Manila. That's what we need, man. Two for corner. We got 5.36 to go fourth period. If you're watching at home, Bobcats ball. Great pass. Boom, to right to bowling. From, from their uh, Good assist from, their girl. from Manila. <laughs> six, point, six point ball game again. You got us. You got to get down there and play defense and hit the floor and let's let's go. Let's last five minutes of this ball game and leave it all on the court. I'm really surprised he had. They got both bigs in right yeah, now, Bart. Do. 21 and 14. Deeds, Deeds and Cone are both in at the same time. That's what that did was take a, a three point shooter out of out of the rim for us right now for Manella. So yeah, now they're big, Shelton back. Look at in. that. Shelton can play outside or inside. That's, she is, that's a two shot, right? Yep, that's going to be on the ceiling, two shots. Both teams have three team fouls, folks. 4.56 left in the fourth quarter. Corning trails by six. First one's up and good. Shelton, Shelton. checking back in. Now we got it. Yeah, so there's another three point shooter. And right she there, can play down low. She can play either position. Seven point ball game, and they'll lead 4.56 to go, fourth quarter. She Second makes them one's both. Second good. 46 38, eight point lead, 4.53 left. We need to run some picks for Watson, run some picks for Bowling. Skip it, skip, skip. 
corner. A short, no Mark. Good. I don't like that shot. It's too fast. No need in this shoot net. Katie Carr about to check in. We didn't have to force that three up. I felt like that was a force. I thought so too. They watch were, the roll. Watch the, the roll. Fish, Jeremy. Look. So say, watch the roll when that pick is up top. Good job. Sealy, good Sealy D. down there getting rough. You're not going to out-rebound that girl. Oh, come on. They that's, call all, a, that's all effort right there. All effort from Deeds. That's a good rebound right there, Bart. Yes, it was. She can shoot her free throws, too. Hey, Thank you. Chester. Thanks, Jeremy. Good job. Hey. Keep saying that. Carr is going to check in for the Bobcats. Katie Carr, freshman number 41. 409 to go, fourth quarter. Missed them both. Well, yeah, shut, shut I need, I need, need to keep praising her free throw yes. shooting. Yes. All right, praise the three point shooting while you're at it. Come on now, we're, we don't look in rhythm on offense. Come on. That's yeah. That's why. That's what happens. We're not. We're not in rhythm. We don't look like we have a clue what we're doing out here. All I gotta say is they better get in Hitchcock's face. You're getting down to nitty gritty right now. You got 19 on the shot clock. They're, They're just, just eating some, some time. time. Exactly. I don't blame them. Look at that pick and roll right there. The roll for three. No good. Good rebound. Bowling. Bowling. We got to get down here and score. Go with it. Go with it. Go with it. Why we stop for? We got to have a little. Uh, Hampton. Boom, oh, baby. Bottle. Downtown. Thank you. Jeremy, we cut it to five. Brandy Wood said if she hadn't heard your voice on the live stream, she thought you was the one getting thrown out. <laughs> nope. That cost you the next ball game. I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, it does. Cost her anyway. All right. To reset, we got 3.04 to go, fourth quarter. Possession arrow to the Bobcats. Both, uh, let's see, Manella has three team fouls. Corning has four. 46-41. I think the lowest we've cut it the second half has been four, Bart. Two. Oh, we did cut yeah, it to two. Yeah, we cut two, okay. then it went back to seven. So, um, it's Osceola ball right now. Possession arrow, like I said, the Corning. Both teams nowhere near any foul trouble right now. Good for us. Corning going to come a little pressure here, Bart. Maybe a little half-court pressure. Nope. No, I think they're going. I don't think you want to press these girls. No. Not with number 12, no. Our girls are tired right now. No, you can't. Not with Hitchcock. She will slice and dice them. Good, good play job. by Watson. Hey, that was some good defense you, out here by Carr. She knew that play was coming. She stepped right in front of Ooh, that. Ooh, Madison. Oh, man. Don't scare me like Go that. Go with it. Finish right in there. I think she was going to try to draw the foul, but it didn't happen. Well, you got to go under control right there yep. if you're going to do that. She could have kicked it to the corner out there. Look at the Good defense, defense by Carr. Carr's playing a boxing yes, one she on is. Hitchcock. Look, she's beating her to the punch. <laughs> Katie Carr is playing defense like a mad woman out there. Oh, that went off Manila. Yes. Yes, sir. What What was the five-second delay down there? Was he trying to make it I, all? I up? don't know. All right, boy, we've got to have we points right here. We've got to score right here, Jeremy. No doubt about it. we got to have points. If we don't, we could be in trouble here. Katie Carr, Carr from three. No, oh, no good. No rebound to Jeremy. Oh, bowling with the steal. Put back good. to it. Cuts it to three. Holy cow! All right, they're a good free show shooting team. We got to play defense. Let's see Katie Carr squat down. 
You got to squat down there on her. Yeah, you can't get right up on her and go nope. on her. No, nope. You got to give her just a little bit of space. What? Where was the foul? You what? rewinding? Yeah. I, I didn't see it. Katie Carr wasn't even around that play. Looks like some of the. Never mind. Ooh. Oh, he's caught Mr. Free Throw. That's very unusual, her, buddy. Well, you got to block out if you're uh, Watson and Bowling. Bowling. Yeah, and Carr's got to get the shooter. Because Hitchcock will go after yes, it right will. here. Guarantee you. That's good. Second one's up. Good. All right, we got a timeout on the court. Manila leads by four, folks. 123 left in this game. All right, well, this is where he wanted to be. At least he yes. didn't shoot it. Like I said, they're a little young team as far as some on the court. You hope that they can, under pressure, make some mistakes right here. But, I mean, not necessarily going to happen. They're hey, we can very the, we well can coached team. We can cut the lead team. to one right here. Uh, I, I don't want, I don't want no, I don't Jack either. to shoot a quick three. But we can cut it to one. Right. What I would do is come down and get a really quick score. Go for a good open layup. Maybe go or, two for one right yes, here on your shot yep, clock. Go I'm, down and score quick. They get the ball, and then you get another chance. Two for one possession here. If they do it right, that, that's how it'll work out. If we can qu score quick, get it back to them. Two for one possession. Looking all the stuff, I got to tear down when we're done. All right, 123 to go. Five team fouls for Corning, three for Manella. Possession arrow to the Bobcats with the ball right here. We got to get some good shots right here, Jeremy. We're going to go pick and roll up top. Oh, oh. She, never, she just assumed nobody would be there. Oh, my gosh. That's clutch. Big time clutch. That's clutch. That was a nice move. That was by a Hitchcock. nice move by Hitchcock. If you're going to foul, you got to grab yeah, the ball. Yeah, you got to right grab here. the ball. Or both hands. We had a chance Up to cut again. it to one, Bart, and now it's a six point ball game. Seven. Seven, sorry. You can't you can't waste time no. now. You gotta go. We gotta get some points right now. Hampton for three. Boom! Yes, sir! Cuts it to four. What a shot! Jeez. Hey, we only run about 14 seconds off the clock. 52.5 to go. Four point ball game. The next corning foul puts Manella at the line for one on one. Um, Manila has only had three team fouls, so there's. Matter of fact, they can they can afford to if we got the ball in the yeah, foul a couple of times, uh, at least three times. Three right times, here. right? So um, four point lead, Manila. It's Manila's ball. Possession arrow is to the Bobcats right now. Any ball close, you know they're going to get on the floor and try to grab it. So hey, give a shout out to Huff Daddy. He couldn't be here tonight. He's going to try. Called me last minute last night, so maybe you can get a camera guy. He getting ready to go support CSR Red Line Media in Texas this weekend, run the camera, him and him and Timothy. All right, folks, here we go. The last 52.5 for all the Marvels Conference Tournament champions. I don't, and, know, about and the one I don't seed. know about this, man. And a one seed going to uh, – Don't foul her. That, Nobody. That, did anybody even he, touch her? He put a hand on her hip. Hand on the hip right there. There was a hand on the hip. Yep, just barely. That's one on one. You got to block out right here, girls. She's missed, she's missed a couple tonight, Bart. You got to block out. That's good. Ooh, I thought he was going to rim out, Jeremy. Five point lead. Five point lead. lead, 42 seconds left. 
You got to get a quick. You got to get quick. I don't want no bad four shot, but we can't run 20 seconds off the clock no. down here trying to score, Bart. All right. That's still a two-position game, Bart. 52-46. Somebody scream. Somebody move. Nope. That's a ball game. That's a ball game. That's a ball game. Too many. Hey, we just said we didn't get. We didn't execute our offense in the second mm -mm. second half. Not at, at all. all. Never got in a rhythm on offense. You can't assume when they when you pick and roll that she's going to be open. That's right. You got to make sure right. she's open before you release well, the ball. Well, they're smart ball club. The last time we ran the pick and roll, uh, Hitchcock stepped in there and stole the pass. Seven point lead. I'm gonna tell you why they know that because they run so much pick and roll themselves. Right. They know what's going to happen right. on that. They, exactly right, Jeremy. Hitchcock for her second free throw is good. good. That's an eight-point eight advantage point lead. Now. We had it to four just 20 seconds ago. It's a full timeout right now by the Lions. Folks, if you're uh, from Corning or Manila watching, uh, we're just going to stream this game. The next game between the boys, Osceola boys and Manila boys, will be seen on uh, Seminole Nation. Seminole on Nation. They do a great job of streaming, uh, great commentating over there. Uh, so was, when you're done with this game, to watch the boys flip over to uh, Seminole Nation, uh, those guys do great work over there. We want to hey, we want to uh, give a shout-out to everybody here at Osceola, uh, the staff here. Mr. Russell, everybody's been good to us all week. All week Dewey we've been Houston. here. Dewey Provided Houston. the food tonight for the hospitality right. room. Dewey Thank you, Houston. Dewey. Great, great food tonight no by good. Mr. Houston. Car, nice rebound. Oh man, nah, there's no need to foul now, girls. This ball game is over with. Don't be fouling. Good hustle by everyone. Both this game upcoming, Bart, um, they played one and one. Osceola won on their home court. Manella won on theirs just about a week ago, yep. less than a week ago, last Friday. So I want to congratulate both of these teams for Absolutely. a heck of a season. Um, hey, this next game, I'm going to tell you something. If Osceola plays like they did the other night, it's going to be one heck of a ball game. I think Manella went through the conference with one loss all year, Bart. They're yeah. girls. They're girls. They won regular season Downtown. and the tournament. No good. Ah, uh, I don't think she missed. So the, the score is not going to be anything that the. I mean, it's going to be a twelve-point game. It was a lot closer throughout the game than that. Yeah, it was. We come within two a couple times. Yep. I I, I just go back to midway through that second quarter. We were lighting it up through that midway through the second. We just seemed to get out of rhythm on offense, and we never could get our, find our identity yeah, on offense. Yeah, we didn't score really well. Neither team scored yeah. much in the third quarter no. at all. I mean, we had first quarter, both teams were right at 20, weren't they? So that shows you what we have only scored in, in three quarters. Yeah, I think since we were then. down three at the first quarter, I think. Still proud of these girls. Going to get a two seed. Go to go to regionals. Hey, they'll be playing. We'll, we'll talk about that today. Don't foul. Don't foul. Good job, Manila Lions. Good job, Corning Lady Bobcats. Hey, Kelly Watson had a ball game. Yes, Mark. she did. <laughs> Rebounds, steals, steals, blocks, yeah. points. Taking a charge downtown, folks. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Next Thursday at 4. At 4 o'clock, our Corning Lady Cats will play. And then at 7, no, no 8.30, 830. the Corning Bobcats will play. We don't know who we play yet. No, that we, we won't, won't know. That tournament won't end until Saturday. So Saturday, once those tournaments end, we'll post. Uh, we'll we'll be right back with you folks. We're saying the prayer right now. So Jeremy, I'll Saturday. tell you what I like about these two teams. They have great respect for oh, each yeah. other. Good sportsmanship. Yeah, we won't know the – I think the girls are Friday night finals and boys are Saturday in the 2A3, right? 
job, Corny. Hey, don't hold your heads down, girls. This season ain't over. No. We've won 20, 27 ball games, I think, this season, Mark. That's impressive. Hey, Songer, you got to give it to Songer, man. Hey, he's had some good again, ball clubs. This is a nine nine times out of 11 he's taking the squad to the regional tournament. That's right. I mean, I don't know. There's not the, they Folks, didn't get their tournament. It's a long, long, it's a pretty long trip over to Mountain View, about two, two hours, 18 time. minutes, something like that. If y'all can make it over next Thursday, come support your boys and girls teams. If not, we will, we hope, we hope and we're pretty positive we'll be streaming both games on YouTube and Facebook. We're going to do it, but the feed over there is not that good. Right, that it may good. not be it may not be the quality as we usually have, but we're gonna try our best. We got faith in Andy Earls. He's done some things we didn't think he could do, but all right, folks, uh, we're going to get out of here. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Everybody from Corning, be safe going home. Me and Jeremy's going to enjoy this next game. I want to say, like I told yeah, the, and the people watching them from Manila, flip over to the Seminole Nation uh, yes. streaming on YouTube if you're at home and you can watch uh, what's going to be a dandy ball game right here. And we'd like to thank you, Pat Bannerman, for coming and helping us out, buddy. For this we week. Appreciate your help. Pat Bannerman. Bart White, myself, Andy was here this week. Hufford. Shana Hufford. Shana Brown. Shana Brown was here. So appreciate everybody coming over here. I mean, it's not a it's not a small – what is it? Well, I'm not going to tell them what we made it here. Don't in. tell them. It's a, it's a good hour and a half. Hour and a half. Usually, yeah, hour and a half. Minutes, so and once again, the, the people at, at Osceola this week have just been awesome to us. Uh, food has been just off the chain. Great food. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rank it probably a 7.8 out of 10. <laughs> Now, over at Couch, I'm going to say 8.5 out of 10. So, we're going to uh, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, thanks to everybody watching. We will have some stuff posted on Facebook yes. Saturday, probably afternoon. And sometime. we'd like to congratulate the Lady Lions of Manila yes. for winning the district championship. Uh, coach LaRose, a heck of a season, my yes. coach. Yep. All, All right, right, folks, we're going to call it tonight. Everybody be safe going home. We'll see you Thursday. Good night.